Photography equipment is expensive and if you're anything like me you don't want to spend thousands on a hundred different lenses to use in each individual scenario. You want to invest in a piece of kit that's versatile and you can use no matter who or what you're shooting. Now I'm going to be talking about the lens that I particularly use but the same principles apply no matter what brand or what camera you're shooting with. What we're talking about is a lens that's high quality, versatile and I believe to be a must have in your kit. And of course, we're talking about the 24 to 70 f2.8. Now I have the Canon version because I use a Canon camera, but Sony, Nikon, Tamron and Sigma all make similar lenses. So why do I love this lens so much? Well, let's look at the other options. I could go for a prime lens, which is a fixed focal length lens. These typically come in 24, 35, 50 and 85 millimeters and they have their pros. They typically go down to a very low aperture around 1.2 or 1.4, which is great for low light conditions and to get a more shallow depth of field for that blurry background. They're supposedly sharper than zoom lenses and produce better image quality, although no one's really gonna know. But they have their downsides too. Say I'm capturing some outdoor portraits of someone and I wanna capture more of the background around them. With an 85 millimeter lens, I mean, they're gonna have to change to something a bit wider, which is a bit of a fuss, or I'm gonna have to step way, way, way back to capture any more of the scene. Or if I'm shooting wide and I wanna get a close up or a mid shot, sure, I could move in a bit closer, but with a 35 millimeter lens, the subject's facial features are gonna be distorted by that focal length. And that is where a lens like a 24 to 70 comes in. The fact that it's a zoom allows you to go from capturing those atmospheric wide shots to an intimate close up and saves you so much time on set. Especially when working with clients because they're often looking for variety and it helps you look more professional and more time efficient if you're not stopping to change your lens all the time. Sometimes I like taking wider shots of people around 28 to 35 millimeters because you get that slight distortion with elongated limbs and it looks quite dramatic. But if it's a bit too wide, I can zoom in between those key focal lengths. So maybe around 40 millimeters, which is wider than 50, but not as exaggerated as 35. And you can see now some of the photos I've taken across the different focal lengths with this lens. Of course I shoot fashion and this lens pretty much stays on my camera all the time unless I'm doing something like macro beauty or need a telephoto lens like the big boy 70 to 200. But even if you're not shooting fashion and portraits, this lens has so many uses. The wider end is great for group shots, landscapes or home interiors and the tighter 50 to 70 millimeter lens is great for food photography, lifestyle shots and product photography. Not only do you have the benefits of that wide focal length range from 24 all the way to 70, it also goes all the way down to f2.8, which is a great aperture to be working at. It lets in a ton of natural light and you can still get really shallow depth of field. So if you're shooting natural light, you really don't have to worry. Plus, I think not everything needs to be shot at f1.8. Super shallow depth of field is overused and a bit overrated. It's also great for video too. I film all my videos on it. I can get wide shots, b-roll, close-ups, detail shots. It just does everything. Like, what more do you need? Overall, I think it's a great piece of kit. Definitely my favorite and most used lens by far, and I think that if you're gonna buy one lens, it should be this one. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments down below, and also let me know what your favorite lens is. To see more of my work, make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Ian Hippo, and I'm also trying to post on TikTok, so go and follow me over there, at Ian Hippo as well. If you wanna see more photography videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.